This is Science Quest. With your host, Jed Allen Friel. Everything science. science. Hi, I'm Jen Allen Friels, and thanks for joining me today on Science Quest. Hey, today we're in the heart of bluegrass country in the state of Kentucky, and we're here at Rosecrest Farm. Now, you might think we're here to talk to you about thoroughbred racing, but we're not. Today, we want to talk to you about the difference between a species and a breed. And even though this is the home of War Sky, direct descendant of War Admiral and Man of War, we're going to focus today on a genetic cause, and that's the difference between a breed and a species. So let's head on in to Rosecrest Farms. So we're farther up the lane here at Rosecrest and we're going to talk about first of all horses. Now another mammal and what makes a mammal? We know that they have to be able to feed their young milk. Well on this side we've got some mammals called horses. How are you guys? Some great race horses here. Here we got Rose of Siena and here we got Dream of Roses. This is the Four Roses pasture here at Rosecrest. On the horse side there are different breeds of horses. Okay. Oh, there's quarter horses, there's thoroughbreds like these horses are, there's also Arabians, there's also paint horses, there's also Morgans, there's lots of breeds of horses. But what makes a species different than a breed is a species is something that can mate and produce fertile offspring just like it. For example, this horse couldn't mate with a cow. Why? Well, a cow is a different species. Now, the great thing about Rosecrest is right on the other side, Let's take a look at those cows. Over here you can see lined up along the fence a bunch of cows. These particular cows are Herefords, one of my favorites. Herefords are a breed of cows. Now, cows are a species that is a different species than horses that we see on the other side of the road. Why? Once again, because cows can mate with each other to produce fertile offspring. Now, there's a lot of different kinds of cows also. We'd call them breeds of cows. There's Angus and there's Herefords and there are Holsteins. And again, all of those cows can breed with each other to produce fertile offspring. Now, within a species, those different breeds are able to produce offspring. We could breed a Hereford cow with an Angus cow and they'd produce a crossbred cow. Just like we could breed a thoroughbred with an Arabian and get a crossbred horse. That's still breeding within the species, but we couldn't breed a horse with a cow. They're two different species. See, in science, we learn about the things around us, and at Rosecrest, the thing that impresses me the most is what a great opportunity and a great setting to find out more about the difference between a species and a breed. Hey, thanks for joining me today on Science Quest. I'm Jed Allen Friels, and remember, the answers to your questions can be found in science all around you. Have a great day.